Okay guys, this is a quick um, I'm setting the, the timing marks on a diesel Gen 2, 12, 13, 14, don't matter, G, uh, as long as the Gen 2, uh, notice the pin location, you see this pin right here, it should go right through the cam and into the, into the, into the cylinder head, okay, and this bolt here shouldn't turn, okay, and then the diesel pump here, this will pump here, you put a pin there, I mean something that fits snugly, I mean you have it in the right position. So you got your cam, your pump, and then the crankshaft. I'm going to show you if you have it right. See right there. I got a special tool. See the arrow? And it matches the, the arrow on the crank while fitting on the on the tooth here on the teeth okay so that your crankshaft um top the center mark right there okay right there okay that means you're on top the center and then your cam is lined up right you know that pin is all the way in and then your diesel pump notice how i re remove everything here and just put it on the side on top I never open the diesel lines, so I, mean, I won't have to bleed it, don't know that. If you open the lines, you're gonna have to bleed it using a, using a scan tool. So avoid all that, just put everything on the side there, see there? Okay, and usually timing belt kit. Okay, and you change the rollers, tensioner, the belt, and you're already there, do the water pump. Okay. okay, once you got your tensioner partially like in, but not tighten it all the way. And let me show you something on the tensioner. Right there. Okay. This tensioner. So right here. This clip here catches it in the back. There's a plastic cover that has a groove, and this thing locks in there. Okay, that's on the tension, which is uh, this guy right here. Okay, so you're gonna lock it in there, then not put it in partially. Don't tighten it all the way. Okay? We still gotta put tension, put tension on the belt plate. So you got that on. You got the roller on, water pump. And once you're there doing the timing belt, do your water pump. Hold on. Uh, you see, I got the timing kit. I'm gonna show you. Timing kit, you got the belt, you got the pump, and all that. Okay, you got the roller here. Okay, go ahead and loosen all these three touching right here. This is, this is before installing the new belt. It's a 10 millimeter uh, trooper square right here. Let's go ahead and push them all the way to the right, toward the front of the car. Okay, toward the front. Okay, because we're gonna install the ball that way we're gonna install the belt that way we got more slack okay so let's go forward remember we still have the pins in there and right here and we still got the crank locked at the bottom with a with special tool okay so i'm gonna go ahead and lay the belt on the last one we're gonna do is this one this is the last one we do okay so let me show you things loose toward the front of the car Things are still there. This is for the diesel high pressure pump. Okay, so let me go ahead and throw the belt in. You see that? You see right here? I let that roller last for last. And it should feel right over. I don't know how I'm going to deal with it, guys. Okay, the pump came over. You got the idea. This one goes, goes in last, okay? This one goes in last. I'll go over And then, once you have that on, you're gonna put the last one here. Okay, last one here. This guy right here. He's the last one. And then, before you tighten these guys, you're gonna go ahead. See these guys? Move them all the way forward toward the firewall, toward the windshield of the car. 
to that way. And then torque this thing to 20 millimeters. Those and, and the ones on the pump here. Okay? While having this all the way forward to the windshield, like that. Okay? And that should do it. The car should start, okay? I hope you guys like the video. If you guys need more help and maybe in the future I'll do the like step by step stuff. But this is just to do it so you can know where your timing marks line up and if your belt is is, is on right, okay?